How's it going guys? My name is Zach with the Movie Castle and today we're going to be taking a look at Monsters. This is season 1 episode 14 and this one's entitled Parents from Space. The episode originally aired February 11th, 1989 and was directed by Jerry Smith. The episode stars Frank Gorshin and Peggy Cass. Now overall this is an episode that was okay, but I really felt it could have been done better. I mean, it's got an interesting central idea, but I don't feel it ever really got played up or executed as well as it should have. The idea is that there's a kid with mean foster parents, but one day aliens crash land on their property, they swap bodies with the foster parents, and now she has strange but ultimately nicer foster parents. And that's an interesting idea, but it doesn't really create the right tension. For example, having the foster parents be mean, we don't really have the tension hoping that we save them and the situation returns to normal. And knowing that it's aliens right away, there's no mystery, you know, you could have the parents suddenly act strange and you don't know why, that could be a little bit of mystery and tension, but we just know right off the bat that it's aliens, so, I mean, well, the episode is entitled Parents from Space, so maybe we would have known that anyway, but also having the aliens be nice, like they don't even want the bodies for forever just for a little bit, it's like, okay, so... This is just something that's happening, and there's nothing I really need to do or be worried about too much. Yeah, there's there's no tension, there's no danger, it's just a weird thing that happens. Like, I like the weird and wacky idea, and I do like some of the humor that comes out of it, you know? Like, they're not just aliens, but they're also rat aliens, so we get jokes based on both of those, like having a litter of kids, or just not understanding Earth protocols. There is some humor, but the, the tension doesn't ever really work. And maybe if you just went out straight comedy or something, then maybe there could be something here. But as it stands, it just feels like an initial idea that's kind of interesting that, again, just doesn't really go much of anywhere. And you do kind of know where this episode's going right from square one. You know, once you see what the concept is, if you're familiar enough with anthology horror, you pretty much know how this one's going to end. And yeah, no, it was one that I, you know, you have a wacky concept, but the plot doesn't go wacky and it ends in a standard way. Yeah, I wish it was better. But in order to analyze it further, let's go ahead and take a bit of a look at the plot. No major spoilers, but I do want to break down and analyze and talk about what works and doesn't. Uh, we open up with a caseworker, and she is going to visit this foster family because one of the teachers reported bruises on her. And the foster mother is good enough at playing it down. Oh, the bruises are just from the bike. Don't worry about it. And overall, this should be a scene where we feel tension, knowing that something's up and getting worried that the girl won't get the help she needs. But we don't really get that tension. Maybe if we'd seen the bruises and she tried to hide them or we got a whiff of something more dangerous. But really, the mean stuff is just like, hey, kid, wipe your shoes when you come in or give me a cup of coffee. I mean, it's enough that we as a TV audience can tell that there's something malicious going on. But there's not anything big enough to make it super interesting or threatening. And overall, the caseworker just seems useless and oblivious, and she's out of there. Then eventually, we'll get the foster father coming in. And the foster father, not having anyone, you know, there, because the caseworker will have left, uh, he is verbally abusive, he's yelling, and, you know, he actually throws this hamster cage, and kills the daughter's only friend. So yeah, he's, you know, we get to see him be outright evil, and then we also get to see the, the mom it turn a little bit as well, and it is also interesting to see her kind of, you know, play off the father's bad behavior, like a casual reference to him accidentally running over a family cat. Like, I mean, you know, it is interesting to see the curtain reveal, you know, like, okay, now we're just going to be bad, but 
I mean, it's just kind of them being bad and, you know, yeah, I, I don't like it, but, you know, it's, again, not 100% compelling, but but whatever, they're, they're jerks. And then the storm will come and bright lights will flash and the foster father goes out into the barn and sees these rat aliens. And yeah, they do have big, goofy rat costumes. It's kind of funny. And I wish that we got more of these rat costumes, because if you're going to break out something that big and wacky, you got to get more usage and screen time out of it. Uh, but yeah, we see these rats. He'll call his wife in, and they'll both eventually return from the barn changed. And yeah, like I said, we saw the rats, and now we see that they're different. We basically know, even before the little girl knows, that... Uh, there's a, a body switching element that these aren't really her parents, uh, but we do get to see that they are nicer, but strange. You know, they they bring the hamster back to life. That's a good thing, but yeah, ultimately a sci-fi thing. And then the food isn't prepared exactly right, but they still eat it happily. And yeah, no, it is kind of fun to get some of the humor out of these characters and getting to see the actor's skills turning on a dime. That, that was interesting. You know, you can definitely tell that even though they look the same, they're playing two different characters. But again, this episode follows the basic points. You you don't know exactly what's going to happen, but if you know anthology horror, you, you get the gist of it. So it's, again, an interesting setup, but I don't know how you could have played it off better. I guess maybe keeping it more of a mystery or having, again, you know, if the parents weren't evil, it would have been something for them to fight towards. But yeah, it's just kind of a weird situation with some humor, but not really a plot, you know? Um, overall, though, it's okay. I didn't hate it, but it just was one of those that didn't quite work, you know? It's it's an okay B-side, whatever. Anyway, though, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll leave a relevant playlist on the bottom. This should be my Monsters playlist. If you guys want to see me take a look at the past episodes, you should be able to find those there. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Relevant playlist on the bottom. Have a good day now.